the hello. No, that was really strange. Did it we? Just, uh, that was strange. It short circuited everything. Oh my god. Oh wow. This is what kind of show this is gonna be, I see. Like one of those wacky Wednesday things. Oh no, what just happened? Oh, we haven't had issues in quite some time. Are we going did, did we go on restream? Mm-hmm. Okay, Ingrid's doing her thing. Oh boy. I am not sure what just happened. We're gonna try this again. Oh, we just screwed things up. Why is this here? Uh just I wouldn't X out of that. <laughs> I would just leave it. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, sorry about that. All right, Hello, I, everyone. Yes, the audience is going to come back. We have no idea what just happened. It was just a short circuit. Oh, man. These chairs are not very comfortable, are they? I'm not leaning back. We got new chairs, and believe it or not. They're, like, just, invisible? Yeah, they're invisible. You can almost. That's lucite. You can, it's, it's, it's lucite? I, I would think so. Okay, what in the world just happened to begin the show? We got two people here. Appreciate that. Hopefully the audience will come back in. They're probably like, oh, God, yeah. Um, what in the world happened? I have no idea what happened. So if you guys are there, you're watching, thank you. Please say hi in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from. I'm a little paranoid. All right, we got a Chris Neal. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, Chris. All right, there it goes. There it goes. All right, so you're coming in now. Fish and Matt Ryan, how you doing this morning? Um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ingrid. Good morning. Um, not sure what happened at the beginning of the show, but we are here, so we're going to give you guys a minute to have everyone come in, but we're going to go ahead and start getting warmed up. Mm -hmm. um, today's going to be an interesting show because we're doing a lot of things we haven't done before. <laughs> and it drives Ingrid nuts, and that's a compliment because I love how stern and on point Ingrid is. She shakes the head. No, it's a compliment. You got to have the when you are a very messy person like me, and you're all over the place, <laughs> you're and messy. all your tabs are open, Matt. Your bandwidth is all you got to have people in your life like Ingrid, right? All right? I and need then, an Ingrid, yes. And then, like, nah, nah, it's very black and yes. white, boom, boom, boom. So, if you're one of those people like all over the place and you just you need help, get a person that's the opposite of you. That's how it works, right? That's right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started now. We see people are coming in, and please apply directly. <laughs> all right so we we need to start acknowledging something already so today we are going to have a very interesting show i'm hoping we're going to be able to pull off that we have a guest coming in um her name is jennifer from this bird's absurd and if you haven't been watching our previous shows you got to go back and watch them because that probably means nothing but it's going to mean a lot today um over the past two or three weeks Kristen received this wonderful chicken I received this wonderful rooster. Ingrid got a chicken and Nan got an owl. And what I wanted to do is bring Jennifer in on the show because... Uh, <laughs> Mine's a puppet. These things are just absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I wanted to promote her product. She's not paying us to do it at all. I don't need it. I don't care. Okay. Um, Uh-oh. Fox News. I better turn that off. Um, okay. Well, she's part of the chicken community. And in the chicken community, we help people out. That That's right. Mm -hmm. That That's it. Um, and after talking to Jennifer, it looks like Gus was slobbering on this one a little bit. Uh, maybe it was me. Um, in today's show, Jennifer, hopefully, I think we had a little breakdown in um, communication with the internet. Uh, she was there in the green room, but just wasn't coming through. So we're going to work on it behind the scenes. But Jennifer was so nice that she wanted to give away three chicken nuggets, she calls them. Right, those are the little baby chick ones. The little baby chicks. And everybody knows about it because they probably saw the lovely Yes, Instagram you do story. such a good job oh, on those Instagram you. reels. It's, uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's, oh, now uh -oh. it's coming in with our, oh, guys, want to make visual aid. So because of that, I think we need to talk about how we're doing this. Oh, oh there she is. Right. We're, we're going to, here is. Right, but somebody is, okay. All right. We're going to, just trust me, trust well, me. Well, we already got How you ahead. doing, Forrest? His name's X. Um, this is Forrest Yell. X. 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 Just, I, I think she's taking it from Sesame Street. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so Jennifer is in the green room. Uh, it's about 12.15. I think we'll bring her on because that's mm -hmm. usually when the audience will start to peak. But again, today, I just wanted to bring Jennifer on and 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 just have a real conversation with someone that hand makes these right here in America. Uh, she must have something to do with chickens because they're just so gorgeous. She must be compl very talented because... These are just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to um, give her a huge plug because this is just the experience we had over the past three weeks now is priceless. To have someone out there, we don't know who you are, 
um, wrote the nicest letters, sent us these amazing gifts, and they're just gorgeous. So hopefully it's going to work. She keeps ringing in and out, but we're going to move on and explain what's going on today. So Jennifer has agreed from This Bird's Absurd to give away three chicken nuggets for free. But here's what we're going to do. All right. And, 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 and I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible. I love how you look at me when you say that because you know it's not. It's going to it's, be a cluster. It's, it, it is. It is. We don't know what we're doing here, folks. Um, it's amazing. Every time we go to give something away for free, there is someone that is not happy. It or, always blows up in our face. Oh, blows up in our face. Absolutely. So we're going to do everything we can today to give away three chicken nuggets. All right. And we have a strategy. We have a strategy <laughs> we, today. We and we're going to make it up as we go. <laughs> kind of. There is a little bit, but I haven't told you guys what we're going to be doing. Um, uh, I but, mean, that's that's the story of our lives. Exactly. Trying to figure out what's in Matt's head. Well, I want to know why <laughs> you're cooking and you're not letting me see what it is. I'm not cooking. And then I'm I see cooking. things come in. You're like, no, no, don't show Matt. I don't know. Are, are, you said do there's you a... like when people do stuff and you don't know what's going on? I love it. Yeah, okay, good. Same. Well, then you'll love this. <laughs> yes. All right. So here's what's going to go on today. You're going to pull one over on us. We're going to pull one over on you. All right. So we're going to do we're going to do as much Q&A. All right, so if you've got questions, please leave them in that comment section, whether it's chickens, chicken coops. But we also want to get Jennifer in because I wanted to just bring her on and promote yeah. this product, this wonderful thing she started, and share that with you guys. But in order to win the three chicken nuggets, I have asked one of our employees to come in today and give us a hand. And I'm going to do the best I hold it together. So if I pause, just bear with me. Mm -hmm. um, when we bought this building, one of the things I couldn't wait is to figure out, to, to meet the people that were going to come into our lives. The, just, I couldn't wait because I love meeting new people. And we are, have been so blessed, so fortunate to have just an amazing crew, definitely up in New York and, and creating a new crew here. Amazing people. I am so lucky to be surrounded by the people I'm surrounded by. And we have a, a person that works for us that is just, I hope everyone can agree is just a little extra special. Not because of the work she does, because she does amazing work. We're going to talk about that. Um, she is just such a ray of sunshine every morning when I come in. Okay. No matter where she is. Emotional. No matter where she is, I hear this. Go go ahead. Jody. Jody, say go, go, hi. Say hi to everyone, please. Good morning. There, there it is. So Jody. We all love Jody. Jody, I um <laughs> you know we all love you. Yeah. You have just Maybe been. Maybe she doesn't, but we do. You have just been. Yes, you're an amazing employee. Yeah. And I don't want to take anything away from any other employees. We have great employees. Mm -hmm. We do. But there is something that you bring to the table, to this building, to our work here that just. You're just. I don't know how you do it. You're always smiling. You're always happy. And you are giving off so much positive energy that you may or may not realize this. It is such a positive effect to all of us, including, including the people working all the way up in New York. When they're calling me going, I just love that Jody. I just wanted to let you know that and give you a huge thank you that I am so thankful that we were able to cross paths with this business. Uh, Jody was here in the very, very beginning. And not only is she a phenomenal employee, and she has taken on every single task we've thrown at her to perfection. She's also that employee that when I ask her to do something, she doesn't bat an eye. You know, last week I asked her to go do a six hour drive, last minute, six hour drive to go pick up a trailer so we can make sure we get do a roll off in South Carolina the next day to make sure our customer's happy. Jody's like, you got it. I'm on my way. So Jody, I wanted you here today so I can just say thank you. Um, we do have the mic in front of you because you are, I also wanted to share with our audience, just get to learn a little bit about you just from your character um, as we go on with today's show and ask you to help us with something. So how does that all sound? Jody's like, what the hell's going on right now? <laughs> well, sounds good. Y'all are amazing people. I have met a lot of amazing people that work here. I have learned a lot. 
and I do love you guys. Aww. I look forward to coming in. It's a different experience, but I love it. Awesome. Well, we yeah. thank you. I tell you, Jody was actually a, a, probably the first employee that ever gave Carolina Coops a review saying how much I worked there. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> I had no idea she was going to do it. So, Jody, I've asked you to come in today. Jody has no clue what I'm going to ask her to do, and I hope we pull this off. So I'm going to get to it here, folks. Um, you're going to have a chance to win three uh, well, there's going to be three chicken nuggets that Jennifer has been so nice from thisbirdsabsurd.com. I hope I'm saying that correctly, to give away. And here's how we're going to do it. Jody, because she has such a phenomenal handwriting and she is just so funny to listen to. So don't be mic shy. Don't be mic shy at all. Um, you see those little golden, we're going to call them golden tickets, little golden yellow pieces of paper in front of you, right? And you see that beautiful pen. Yeah. Everyone that is commenting right now. I want to offer them the op the opportunity to win a chicken nugget. Now, this is going to be tough. I get it. Can you somehow go through all the names just once? And there's going to be people giving multiple comments um, where you write it down on a piece of paper. Okay. You don't even have to write the whole name, but just enough so we know who they are. And then you're going to crinkle it up. And you're going to throw it in that. <laughs> I was going to call it the golden bucket, but we didn't get a chance to paint it gold yet. But what? In what is with the golden stuff? I don't know. <laughs> Are you trying to make it sound like more... In the mic, in the mic. You're trying to make it sound more exciting than it is by... I, by I, that's what us men do. We, we just, you know, it's just how we are. Um, I So this is going to be a very difficult task. Well, I knew if anyone... just called it the big bucket then. The big bucket. We can call it whatever we want because I want to do this more. I love the giving away. Box. It's something that I've watched my father do my entire life. And I tell you, it makes me so proud to watch him where he... You wouldn't believe what that man has given away. And... Um, so I, I guess I just I just love doing it. So everyone out there, please, if you're leaving a comment, that means you've entered. I would love if everyone can make sure you hit share. And Jody, do everything you can to write everyone's name down. There's already a lot of comments coming in. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, look at that's how many people already. I wrote them down. I wrote them down so because you took forever to tell her what she needed to do. So I started writing them down. <laughs> Thank you. Head Poor Jody. Because, <laughs> you know, honestly, Jody, like I'm I'm not here that often, right? All right. Not, but uh, I, I say it all the time. Not here, here. I'm not here that often, but when I am, Jody's always like. <laughs> it's like the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> but I am Jody's. She is. She's just always. You're always upbeat and happy and big smile and so enthusiastic in the shop. I mean, don't let her go, Matt. Oh, I won't. Okay, I won't. And so I you want. So you're a prisoner, right? Yeah, you're here, yeah. you're here for life. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start writing those names on the golden pieces of paper. I see Jennifer's in the green room. Do we got good connection now? I don't know. All right. Let's so, try. Well, hold, hold on. Okay, we're going to get there. I promise. Um, so at 1 o'clock, I have a strategy to make sure nobody can argue. So 1 o'clock, we're going to do the drawing. Okay. So if you make a comment, that means your name will be written down on a piece of paper. Jody's going to crinkle it up. She's going to put it in the bucket. And at 1 o'clock, we're going to do three different drawings, and that gives you a chance to win a chicken nugget. Brought to you by thisbirdsupsurd.com. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And chicken nuggets are? I mean, I think you have. Well, no, so they're these little cute little baby chicks. That um, Ingrid's got office, all yeah. the stuff. That I think she's going to bring it up so she can show it. Okay. She's going to bring up the website. Um, and, of course, if you have any questions, too, please leave them in the comment section. We'll definitely get to them. I saw at the last minute, too, you 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 had the time to <laughs> make it. So this is this is great. So can we go ahead and oh, she's going to go to it first. God, look at these chicks. So if you haven't been to thisbirdsabsurd.com, do it after the show. <laughs> Unless you can listen to the show and go there at the same time. I don't want to lose you guys. But we're going to show you guys this just amazing birds, these stuffed animals. And just wanted to, again, just talk to Jennifer. There she is. Hi, Jennifer. How are you doing today? Good. How are you guys? Oh, my God. We are doing so well. Thank you so much for being here. So this is the Jennifer, the creator of all these beautiful stuffed chickens, the mm -hmm. owl. I see Fonzie. Fozzie. Fozzie. Sorry, Fozzie. I love the Muppets. Anyways, and um, so right there, Jennifer, I see you have, this is one of your chicken nuggets? This is a chicken nugget. One of, one of many. All different colors. Oh, wow. They, they are absolutely adorable. I can't thank you enough for coming on. And I just, the reason for this is I just wanted to share with everyone what I think is amazing. I know what it's like 
to start something from scratch, build with your own hands, and then just, you obviously must love what you do. But um, I would love to start just kind of diving into that a little bit. But if um, anybody else has anything to add to the contest, because again, we always somehow tick someone off. It's like, are you kidding me right now? It's just, it's a giveaway, folks. You know, don't don't ruin it. But we love to share. We love to give. And more importantly, I just, I, this bird is absurd is not paying us to do this. I want to make that clear. So many people are like, oh, you know, you got to pay us to promote your product, whatever. No. I have always told Ingrid from day one, I want to, when we have a product that we love, I want to promote it because um, we love to share it. So Jennifer. Yes. Okay, awesome. So I'm dying to know, how in the world did you even get started with this amazing product? Um, it was completely accidental. Um, I'm an artist, but uh, I moved back to New England and when I bought my house, it came with two chickens and uh, it became kind of a joke. So I decided I would have to create my own version. And then I realized people actually wanted me to make some for them too. So it kind of took off from there. It's so funny. She says accident because when I get asked, man, how in the world did you get in the world of building chicken coops? It was an accident. And I think that's when you're starting the best thing ever, in this case, a business. Um, so what were your first two chickens that were at the house that you bought? They were barred rocks. Their names were Helen and Carol. And now I've grown to 40 chickens. Of course. So I have a few more. But uh, you know how that goes. <laughs> Two to 40. How many years did that take? <laughs> Not many. <laughs> oh. um, so again, thank you so much for being here. So what was the first chicken that you made? Um, the first one I made was kind of like this one, um, although they've changed over the years. Um, but a black and white, which was, I found this fabric and I said, oh, that would make a great chicken. And um, so, yeah, started from one just like this. Well, that would make sense because it looks just like a barred rock. Yes. And yeah. um, so how, so you are in New Hampshire. I am. And I imagine, are you shipping all over the country, all over the world? All over the world. I've shipped to Australia and Japan, Vietnam, Germany, all over. That is so awesome. Now, you did mention that um, you were making some of these to fill an order for, I think it was a store, right? Yeah, yeah. All of these behind me are um, a store in Vermont called Remarkable Things. So uh, they'll be going to Vermont. That is awesome. So I wasn't sure, you know, I know we're going to get asked a lot for people. and We want to be able to share our links uh, to help grow each other's businesses. Um, sure. So when people do want to get one, I know they can probably go right to your website, thisbirdsabsurd.com. They can. And they can enter a code Carolina Coops and get 10% off. Yeah. How, oh, that's nice. How about Very that? Nice. That is so generous. Um, so... Yes. So Jennifer here has agreed to do a promotion for if you are watching this show and you go and buy a bird from her, enter. Uh, what were, Carolina yeah, Coops. Just enter Carolina Coops and you'll get 10% off your purchase. Yeah. That is so <laughs> nice. I tell you, that is just so wonderful. So let me ask you, have you ever, and you don't, you don't have to give out any names. I'm just curious because I get asked this all the time. Like, who are you doing Coops for? Um, have you ever had like any customers buy one of your birds one of your stuffed animals if you will that you just couldn't believe there was someone that bought something from you <laughs> you know every once in a while i'll get um somebody who will put in a big order so then i get curious and i have to lift them up <laughs> um so i've had them in a children's museum um i've had some newscasters no big no big celebrities though as far as i know well you'd be surprised what's <laughs> going to happen now we, we we are very fortunate we get a handful of a-listers i mean that's one thing i love about our business is we have all kinds of different customers chicken people are just the best people and we get to all come together for something so great as this um so 
I I would love to know because I just this is just the builder in me. How long does one of these take to make on average? Most frequently asked question. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, probably about start to finish about three hours. Oh wow, okay, that is a lot quicker than I thought. I imagine you've probably gotten it down to a pat uh, or gotten it down yeah. pat where it's it's very efficient. Um, have you ever had with you know? Oh, I'm sorry. What's that? I'm saying a couple of thousand chickens later. Yeah, I've got wow. It down. <laughs> that is that is amazing. Um, well, you know, actually, that was a question I was going to ask. I don't know if I asked you. How long have you been doing this? Uh, since 2016, I guess. Okay. Okay. Um, so, where have you had any problems finding material? You know, I know the uh, supply chain has been crazy lately. Has that caused any problems with your business? That's been a huge problem, actually. Um, so I've been, you know, really having to do put in the work to find my materials. But so far, I've still been able to, you know, keep a fairly good selection going. I love how she put that. That is put so well. Put in the work to find it because that's what we have to do. And I've learned, and I, I bet you, you probably learned the same thing because of the disturbance, because of the supply chain issues, we've actually gotten better. We have met new vendors we've never met before. We found new materials we never knew were available. What so, What is your best selling version? The, the one that you have, Melody Moonlight, is probably my biggest seller. Not the puppet one necessarily, but the, the chicken. Yeah, she's lovely. <laughs> um, so which one is your favorite? If you could only make one for the rest of your oh. life, which one would be your pick? <laughs> um, you know, I have to say, I, I do I do really I do really like her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's one of my favorites, but it is hard to pick. I kind of every time I finish one, I think, Oh, I really like you. Oh, <laughs> oh I mean, and I, I think I've seen, I saw some frizzles and some silkies. Is that right? Yeah. We're going to bring up the website here a little bit once I know, I think they're going crazy with everyone entering the names. And if you're just joining us, we have Jennifer, the owner, founder, creator, designer, the artist oh, of this birds absurd, making oh. these beautiful birds. That one's for Mike. Mike Trapp wants that one. <laughs> he already said, he goes, I saw they had a Phyllis Diller. So I need, he goes, I guess I need to get one. <laughs> um, so if you are just joining us and you didn't catch the beginning of the show, I did mention that Jennifer from thisbirdsabsurd.com is giving away to our viewers three baby chicken nuggets, she calls them. And you have a chance to win it by just making a comment. Also, please, when you're commenting, please share the show. We want to continue to grow it. And Jennifer, I can't thank you enough. Look at this. So cute. Um, we're going to do a raffle. Uh, Jody and Ingrid are just going crazy behind the scenes, writing everyone's name down. We're going to crinkle it up right. in a little piece of paper. We're going to go live at 1 o'clock to have someone draw it out. And that's part of my tactic that no one can argue with. Um, they're going to draw the three names. And also I wanted to mention, and I didn't at the beginning, so maybe it's going to get me in trouble. I wanted to make sure that that person could acknowledge that they're still here watching. Is it too late for me to do that? It's never too late. Never too late. They better not leave. Yeah. So you have to be here at one o'clock. So when we, if we draw your name and we read it, you have to acknowledge that you're still here. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank I, have a, you. I have a question for yes. Jennifer. Do you find yeah. now that because chicken keeping has exploded that it's it's helped your business? Do you do you see like an uptick with people keeping chickens and your business? Um, you know, I kind of feel like I had no idea how big chicken keeping was until I started this business. Um and I think over the COVID years, a lot more people have become chicken keepers. So, um, so I did fairly well through the past two years when a lot of people were struggling, I think for that reason. Yeah. And I also love the names you give your chickens. I was going to ask, how do you come up with the names? I, I, I got Isabella <laughs> Ciccolini, <laughs> which I love. <laughs> 
No, it's a lot of time spent behind the sewing machine where my brain is <laughs> wandering. <laughs> and and I, here's the other thing, too, I want to make sure Jennifer gets credit for. There is so many great little things I wish we could do for our coops. And we're getting there. Little, tiny, nice touches from the very beginning. Are you the one that draws the picture on the box? Yes, I am. Just, I mean, you are definitely an artist. That is for sure. And then the handwritten letter, um, like the one, you know, thanks for adopting Sir Albert. Someone thinks you're pretty special. It's just, um, I, I, I just love what you do. It's, it's just really that simple. And that's why I wanted to bring you on the show and share it because I just have such a huge appreciation for someone doing something that they love to do. So here, here you see the website, thisbirdsabsurd.com. Uh, Jennifer makes these by hand. And I believe you're the only one making them right now. Is that correct? It's just me. Do you ever think that you might bring on some people to help you out? Or are you going to keep uh, just kind of plugging along? And Oh, look at that. That is such a gorgeous picture. Uh, do you ever think you'll be bringing more people on? Or are you going to just kind of continue solo? You know, I think at, at some point I might have to bring someone on. But for now, um, you know, I I like being in control of, mm -hmm. of how it's put together, which is maybe not a great attribute but uh but for now i'm i'm good <laughs> as an entrepreneur to another entrepreneur always listen to your gut if your gut is to stay solo stay in control i i can i couldn't agree more because i tell you um i'm so fortunate like i tried to at the beginning of the show i love to share how I am just surrounded by the best people. And I remember the advice that was given to me by a mentor years ago is, Matt, you want to be the dumbest person in your company. And it just makes sense. And I just love <laughs> yeah. surrounded by the good people. But the best part of my job are the people. And then the most difficult part of the job are the people. But I wouldn't change it for the world. That's why, again, we got the ray of sunshine like Jody we're talking about. It's just, you know, I come in in the morning. I haven't had my coffee yet. And good morning. It just, oh, I just, it just, you know, and there's times I try to play tough, but inside it just makes me so happy. Um, so how is Ingrid and Jody doing over there? They are writing down names like crazy. I see comments coming in. Did we start a monster? Well. There we go. Get get, get to the mic. Come on, Jody. Come on. Get on that mic. Yeah. Tell us what's going on over there. I got caught up a little bit. I was still overwhelmed because I did not have no clue of what I was supposed to do. I am caught up somewhat here talk talk right um, into that mic L look at me look at i me. am looking at a lot of her chickens that she has there and i really need her number <laughs> so so some fun facts about jody believe it or not she's from newburgh new york oh i didn't know that yeah isn't that crazy but i think she's been down in the carolinas for quite some time to have that wonderful accent that she has um and also jody's a farmer too i don't think i told you guys that so she's hardcore that was another thing i loved about when i interviewed her is this her first woodworking job yes Wow. Yes, and to be honest with you, I love the employees that have never done woodworking because we, we are remodeling. Uh -huh. So this is a lot more experience hands on. Uh-huh. Um, so I, I do, does anybody else have any other questions for Jennifer? And Jennifer, I kinda wanted I, to give you the floor too if there's anything else you wanted to talk about or you want people to hear about your business. Uh I would love for you to take the time to share it. Hmm. Well, I mean, you guys have done a great job of <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm out there. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd love people to to visit my website just to see what's there. Even if, you know, they want to put it aside for a Christmas present later or something like that. And again, I just want to remind everyone, and Jennifer, thank you so much. 10% off. Now, folks, that may not sound like a lot. That's huge. I know the percentages, it adds up. And I think that is so gracious of you um, to give that 10%. Um, for the Carolina Coops customers, just go to This Bird's Absurd, and I'm assuming there'll be a spot maybe in comments or a promo code section. Just enter Carolina Coops, and she'll give you 10% off. <laughs> yep, that's there great. Check out, so... And follow her on Instagram. Oh, yes. Yeah, I forget all that stuff, but thank you so much, Ingrid. <laughs> Definitely follow her on Instagram. Are you on Facebook? Yep. Twitter? I am Facebook, too, yeah. I Facebook and Instagram. Have you done any TikTok lately? No, I'm, I'm too old for TikTok. I know, but I tell you what, TikTok is amazing. Don't overlook it. It took me a while. Um, I, it, it's a tough one to learn and just get used to, but I tell you, TikTok, and here's the thing, so many social media platforms are changing to that kind of mm -hmm. content, and uh, it's, just, it's definitely a... Um, Something to check out. I love Ingrid. Wow. I love TikTok. I tell you, if you're not following Carolina Coops on TikTok, go to that boy. Some of the comments we get, 
Woo! But boy, we're crushing it, are we not? Yes. Awesome. Yes, you are. All <laughs> right, so it's 1230. Jennifer, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we you. will talk again. <laughs> we're going to talk business. Uh, I want to just, again, I just, I love your product. Great job. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you, Jennifer. Thanks, Jennifer. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Um, all right, so uh, and the other thing I forgot to mention too, of course, you guys see it right here. Notice I moved the camera a little bit. I was wondering why we have more of the messy desk. In, in well, the I purposely still, here. but we got the golden bell. There is still always a chance to read the golden <laughs> or to win a free shirt, and we got shirts finally coming out. The ones that we wore okay. in that uh, famous coop on HGTV to fix it a fabulous show, and we actually had Jenny and Dave Mars on. Was it two, three weeks ago? So if you didn't checked out that show make sure you go watch it um you always have the chance to win a free shirt and i have not had a chance to uh, answer any comments so i see a lot of them coming in again if you're just joining us by entering a comment and also please share the show please so much we need we would love to continue to grow it jody and ingrid are over there like two busy bees writing down a lot of names how many would you say we're up to so far i don't know <laughs> um <laughs> I love it. I love it. I um, are there to... some questions we yes, can get to? Yes, that's what all I'm right. trying to do. All and right. I have like all this like fuzzy feedback in this my headset. So. Oh, yeah. And we have a surprise for you, Matt. Yeah. Disconnect. I know why then. Is it bad? It's annoying. I added. Okay. Well, I added uh, <laughs> an extension to your earbud lines. Right. Hoping to give you a little bit more freedom. Right. Uh, but as usual. I want freedom. I, well, if you want to disconnect your, yes, it's that line. Just plug back into the amplifier. You'll be good to go. I almost guarantee it. So I can scroll through. I do have my mouse. Yay. No, uh, I don't want you to. Oh, Never mind. Oh, and we got disabled. new mugs coming. Everything is finally coming. I did see some comments about broody hens. Yeah. So, I have <laughs> I yes. have one of those. Oh, Ingrid's expecting. <laughs> <laughs> And we have a very short gestation period. What, two more weeks? <laughs> two more weeks. I found out last Friday after work when I came home. We should have a baby shower. Yeah, we should. <laughs> Give me a brooder and some chick feed and we'll be fine. Yes. So Chris says, um, I'm a new follower. A French chick's got nabbed by a predator. So I went looking on how to build a safe coop. And my last two weeks have all been learning about Carolina coops. Yeah, if you're learning to build a coop, I tell you, there's no better place. Um that's what we do this show for. Uh, don't skimp on any of the things when we say this is a must. Especially we had that one show. Uh, you guys did such a good job on talking about the top 10 mistakes when building a chicken mm -hmm. coop. That would be so valuable if you're building a chicken coop. Right. How about building the brooder? Building the brooder. Yeah, yeah we did that show. show. Yeah. So um, Fish and Matt Ryan, is he started his black soldier fly larva bin. Yeah, I was so thinking that's... about that too. That's a good one. Let Thank us you, know everyone, how it works, for Matt. saying hi and letting us know where you're watching from. I definitely appreciate watching from Denmark. Yes, Tucson nice. Talk. Tucson We're going to be going off to Ireland soon. <laughs> it's coming soon, pretty soon. We're going to be, and I hope I get to go live over there. Um, we're yeah, going to <laughs> we're gonna be doing a chicken coop in Ireland. I took a call from UAE this morning. Yes. You guys have a custom coop called a return. Yeah, I know. We might have to fly to Dubai and build a chicken coop. <sighs> So Kathy wants to know, how long do I need to keep mama and her babies away from the rest of the flock? Or do you? Right. Do you need yeah, to? I, I wouldn't keep her away unless she's a rather submissive hen. Yeah, and every now and then that does happen. But typically, she should protect her babies with her life. I mean, if, if she's in a... In, the pecking order well respected in the pecking order those hens won't even dare look at her chicks so See, this came up i'm sorry this came up when we went live last saturday or sunday we went right. to jimmy's and i was going to ask you about that because i i need to talk to danielle about that yeah, well they're, because they're, they're, he called me and he said there's some fighting going on because the hen's taking up one of the few nesting boxes he has so i said well if that's creating conflict go ahead and move the hen down below the hen house and he did and i believe that fixed the problem but that particular hen was a little was not as dominant or protective as she should have been so there's just just you know how it is in the chicken world we have uh we can make it all these generalizations about this is how it's gonna be this is what this breed is like and then 
chickens break the rules. Yes. And that's one of the things that I love about them. <laughs> I mean, you just never know what to expect. So yeah, and my broody is my youngest. Yeah. So that's gonna be. She's pretty low on the totem. Well, point. it's gonna be interesting when you report back if her mothering instinct, you know, is contrary to that. So that. Well, let's wait and see. Well, she's the youngest, but she's also the biggest because right? she's the dark Brahma. Oh, okay. okay. So Lisa, Brahmas are always going broody too. Are my they? My Marans are going broody like crazy. Lisa Haymaker asked, is broodiness contagious? I started with one broody, then two, then three, now four. Yeah. I, been in- I, I Sometimes I wonder if it is. If it's the time of year or... Contagious. I mean, not really contagious, but they are followers. Yeah. Hmm? You know? They are. So if one's sitting... A- How do you... Tri- so you're telling me they can trigger those hormones to tell them to go broody? I don't know. They, That's women, a great question. Women, it, women's yeah. cycles get triggered when they live together. Right. And if one really? one yes. person in a friend group well, has a baby, maybe the other ones want a baby. Who knows? Well, Danielle had happen. your, when you went live at Danielle's house, she had two broodies and they co-parented, right? Right. Which yeah, I predicted so that. Yeah, there were, yeah. And how did you do? There's so many things going on there. So just so you know, Danielle, our artist, is going to be here at 1.30, just so you know. <gasps> yes, we got a meeting after the show. Why didn't you tell me? Because I just haven't even had a chance to tell you until just now. So in a way, this is a form of a, an official office meeting. You get all kinds of memos. <laughs> this uh, is the time for broodiness, though. It really is. Uh, so how are we doing? We're getting all the names. And if for whatever reason you're just joining us and you're listening and watching, thank you for being here. Happy Friday. We're up to 76. Share this show. We should be passing 100 by now. Um, just by leaving a comment, especially oh. if you're telling us where you're watching from, um, you will get your name entered. Jody is over there busy entering everyone's names to make sure that you can be in the drawing for a free chicken nugget from thisbirdsabsurd.com. It is a holiday weekend coming up, so that's why we might have less of an audience See, today. I disagree. I bet you... See, we should have more people watching, but that could be. That could be. I'll use that one. I mean, we're going to be traveling, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> I haven't traveled via vehicle and Well, actually, yeah, that's not true. We had to go do that emergency coop down in Florida. So Anyways, a lot of the people love... I Jennifer's. need a hot pink nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, no, Giselle said these are definitely going on my Christmas list this year. They're so adorable. Um, they are, folks. That That's the thing. I just want, you know, I'm sure we can all understand that when we see something that we just absolutely love, we got to share it. And I just, so many things we get, we have gotten used to coming in from China. And here is something that's just handmade right here in America that they're just gorgeous. They're mm-hmm. beautiful. And, of course, they're very sentimental to us because of how we learned about this bird's absurd. Uh, whoever is our uh, fan out there that sent it to us as a gift, as a thank you. Just, yeah, we really, really appreciate that. Yes. Yeah, it was, I mean, very nice. it was so touching. It was generous. It was touching. And, you know, um, I'm glad that. Um, it would be to- awesome to include this bird's absurd chick with each coop. I was going to ask Jennifer, and I don't know if Jennifer, you're watching by chance right now. I, I forgot to ask her this. Um, does she ever get custom requests? Yeah, because um, Mike Trapp wants to know if she can make a chinchilla. Somebody she... asked about a turkey, and somebody else mentioned they saw a log with yeah, mushrooms mushroom, on mushroom it. Yeah, mushroom log, and she has a fox. Yeah. Uh-huh. So she has, if you, on the website, she has other animals, and I bet you she probably would do. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, or or some of those started from a request, probably. So when people are asking where she sells them, she sells them on her website, thisbirdsabsurd.com. Um, she may have an Etsy shop, but I my experience with Etsy is, is go buy from her directly because Etsy takes a big cut. Yeah. So Yeah, we um, want to promote what she's doing. I don't right. want to overload her where it becomes stressful, but that's one of those things they say is a good problem. But right. I, 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 mean, I mean, I'm not a... I don't sew or anything like that. I this. love him. Yes. <laughs> I know. It's it just the detail. It's not easy to take something, but she just does such a great Yeah, they job. are a work of art. They, they re- it... All the way down to the little feet. Do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> Is it soft? Very soft. Would you, would you want you want to see? Uh, and she's even have a, has a tag on here. There's just so many little details. She's just crushing it. Absolutely yeah. love it. So, like, I have one of those horrible things I got from my mother's side of the family. My nephew has it, where we have to constantly run our fingers. What is that called? It's Through just something. some tactile. Um... It's a disease, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it, and I need to be allowed to do what I want. Um, my And I noticed Mikey has it, and my, and my son, Michael, and my nephew, Noah. 
yeah. had it when he was a little kid. And I was like, oh, it does run in the family. My mother used to make, oh, it's going to probably sound awful, like pil- pl- pillows out of rabbit fur, uh-huh. you know, and she, oh, I just for hours I could just, yeah. Anyways, enough about me. Uh, <laughs> A little weird. They're very soft. Yes, Jody. Mm. I love my shirt. You guys make it so much fun. Oh, Shabby. Yeah, Shabby. I'm so glad that you love the shirt. Speaking of shirts, we have more coming out. We got the ones that we wore on the show, uh, Fixer to Fabulous on HGTV. If you've not seen it, please go check that out. Oh, my God. Please don't talk about those shirts. <laughs> so guess what I'm going to do? We're going to talk about those shirts even more. They are Uh-oh. almost done. They are they they are awesome. Now, I love our Raglan shirts, and these ones are available too. These are our ten year anniversary shirts. It says 08 on the back, the year we started. But the they are uh, the shirts that we wore on HGTV that are being made right now. They're almost done. They're a dry fit shirt. Mm-hmm. They are just such a great material, but they couldn't be silk screened the way I wanted it to get all the colors on, so they look really well. They had to heat press each one, and they're just gorgeous. So any other questions? I mean, I, I see a lot of comments coming in. How are you guys doing over there? One o'clock, we are going to have the drawing. Oh, and, I just don't want to miss anybody because you know how I am about fairness. Yes, and, and we're going to do it as well, fair as possible we, as always. We had this this segment last week and the week, was it well, last week and the week before where we had Matt taste? Yes, I think, I, okay, so this is what I need. I need people to, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I got excited. Yes. Yes. I want people to, so I came up with a, Kristen came up with a segment idea. Oh, no. Uh-huh. I was, Unbeknownst I to me. I came up with maybe eat it or cluck it. So we need a name for the segment so I can design some chuck graphics. Chuck it or cluck in. it. What would Matt eat? You're going to chuck yeah. it or cluck it. I was thinking clucking, what would Matt a... eat, like what would Matt do, WW. Yeah. yeah. But I just thought if we. <laughs> That's what I teach everyone. I'm no, not going to be I here know. forever. Will will, will Matt that? spew? <laughs> no, chuck it or cluck. Are you going to puke it up or are you going to be like, yeah, I that's good. I think I'd good. like will Matt spew. It is not clucking a good thing. So clucking needs to be considered a positive thing. So chuck it or cluck it. Same well, thing with the coop. Well, I just thought cluck it would mean like it, it rhymes with something else and that you're giving, you know, that you don't want. Yeah. Or, uh, or you could, if you don't want to eat it, you can give it to your chickens because they're like, all oh, that's good true. That's like, that's like non's like, what is this cluckery around here? <laughs> Huh. So many puns. Right, well, but so, anyway, so little time. So we have stuff for First you. time listener, Tadpole Trucker. Thank you for being here. Looking forward to the show. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Please share the show. If you have any questions about chickens or coop building, that's what we are here for. Mm. Should I go get it? What? What is? Do you want me to get them for you? I don't know yeah, what is yeah, going okay. on. Jody, how's it going over there? Well, Jody and I, she's she's doing good. I know. I know she would. I know. See, don't don't grab it from there. I'm putting it in. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I did what I was told Again, if not you're not sure who do. Jody is and you didn't catch the beginning of the show, Jody is, I mean, I have the best employees. I don't want to take anything away from all of all our right. employees, but um, you know how sometimes you just have those people in your life that just become that ray of sunshine that just makes you smile, not only you individually, but she, Jody has that effect with everyone. Mm-hmm. Even Mackenzie left here when she was working. She goes, I just love that Jody. Um well, so, y'all are awesome people to work well, with. Well, I don't know about that. I, I, I'm oh, sure. go on. Nah, people would disagree. You know, they, they, there's New York, Matt, and there's North Carolina, Matt. You don't know New York, Matt. But what? All in, right. Okay, so okay. Well, that looks here. normal. I don't yeah. know. Here, here. No, I. Yeah. Those are potatoes. Try it. Where's the. Those aren't potatoes. If that's what I think <laughs> it is, what in the world? <laughs> oh, this that's is... what you were cooking. Yes, I was cooking for the show and taking phone calls at the same time. Yeah, the best is, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the video, Nan's on the call with a customer and the entire glass dish just explodes into a million pieces while on the phone with the customer while she's cooking dinner for the kids and I and somehow she did not miss a beat. Um, that's all on video. All right. Go ahead and try no, it, Matt. No, no. Why? What is it? Go ahead. Oh my God. You know, I'm only doing this because you guys Here, are putting I'll, me on the spot. I'll try it too. With, well, of course you will. We've seen what you eat. There's, I, there's, oh, yeah, that's right there's, there. there's that weird meat thing you left from last <laughs> I know, week over it's there. Like, uh, I don't know. It so if it's really if it's last, right now. Oh, but you told me it lasts forever. Mm-hmm. I don't but know th- about that. Okay, so why why are you asking me to try this? That's not a potato. Why is it? And look at this. I left the duckweed out in the window here. You did. Yeah. Look. Oh, look at all the roots. Yeah, it's growing roots since I left it. Now, why why are we doing this? Is this another this is survival just, food? No, well, it, is this from Ingrid's garden? This is from my neighbor's garden. She okay. pulled it this morning. So we have a lot of crossover between chickens and gardening, and sometimes we garden for our chickens. So, <laughs> what is? 
this is this is a turnip. <laughs> See, we think we have a preconceived notion of what's not things. bad. No, it's very that, good. That, that right where I had that right, right where you said turnip. Oh. Oh, now man. you have to try the turnip greens. <laughs> no. Yes. No, seriously, th- this is like when you're like, oh, try this beer. Yeah. yeah. Cat piss and Christmas tree all in one. Mm. <laughs> try that try a turnip amazing. Green. Here. Okay. Cook. No, no, um, no. Yes, you have to. It's part of the show. And when, you I'm, put salt and pepper on that. I, I, I did. Think... I didn't want to torture you too bad. Oh, is that what that is? No, go. T- hurry up. Good. You know the best part about owning a business? The only people that get to tell me what to do is our customers. <laughs> Oh, I see bacon. Wait, this is bacon, right? Yes, that's bacon. You're fibbing. No, it is. All right, what is this? Uh, try it. Just... <laughs> oh. No? Okay, okay. Hold on. Oh, my God. I'm going to be tough. Mm. So was any of that good at all? You didn't like the turnip or the greens? Turnip greens? All right. For a second. See, that's what happens. For a second, it's like, no. Nope. You know. All right, here we go. Yeah, no. What in the hell is that? These are, this is a beet from the garden this nope. morning. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> hmm. I am, so it's pretty good. Oh, yeah? I think you'll like the beet. Oh, I'm salivating, like, about the puke. Hmm. Uh, okay. All right, give him some of my stuff. He needs no, some. no, just, just eat the beet, and then we'll we'll move to... So here's the turnip. This is oh yes, the green screen. Makes <laughs> you can't it. see the green. Yeah, the, but see, I just cut half of it off and now again, that I, up I right have to ask. Show, I'm so not going to be very fresh. I'm not going to be hallucinating in an hour, am I? For <laughs> you the next, do that sometimes. Hope you're not busy for the next ten days. Um, <laughs> so this is a what? And there's the beet. This is a beet. This is I cooked half of it, so there's the other. Now half. This is what they used as a red dye, right back in the old days. Yeah, it's it's. So I've never had a. Eat, Are you serious? My, never. No, who eats this? So, but you do you not like root vegetables? You like potatoes. I love carrots, and potatoes. Carrots. Yeah, those, these are like the winter stuff, though. Like the beets, yeah, the this... cool weather, the beets and the turnips. But the greens are edible. So are radish greens. That's my fault. I hate all of the above, so I don't cook them. That's okay, no. Surprisingly, I'm just waiting for it to kick my butt. Mm-hmm. Wow, and that's just a microwave, a, a beat that has been microwaved. That's good. Huh. That's actually good. Oh, ding, 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 like ding, ding. Uh, the beets, I mean, wow. Oh, do you remember that time we went to Farrington Village and we had a steak, a salad with steak on it and it had little beet pieces? No. You liked it then too. No, they yeah. were little pieces of red candy. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Beats. Keep telling yourself that. Okay, here we go. This is beautiful. Look all right, how that. are we doing the questions and comments? Uh, well, we're yeah, getting we all the names again. While we, so what, while we, we, I will be able to answer more questions after one. Cold beer can fix anything. Yes. Oh, my God. I, mm. I tell you, I would love a cold beer. I don't want to I don't want to bore so the audience. Pretty. What questions? Are they, yeah, these are well, gorgeous. Did these come from Ingrid? These are from Ingrid. These are uh, Nas- nasturtium flowers. So that they weren't Yeah, flowering. you can't even say it. You probably shouldn't eat it. And uh, Swiss chard, right? I mean, you guys can say it, but yes, I can't. Yes, rainbow chard. So I got one of them for each of you. Now this is remember you ate that like leaf that was all like, peppery. You, just just like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a flower. It's an edible flower. Mm-hmm. Here, it was picked this morning. <laughs> yeah, the guys are loving working out in Washington State right now. Um, I'm sure some people got that. Right, one. Does it taste like the? Leaf <laughs> that was ate? funny, Ingrid. Uh, that was pretty funny. Thank you. I, I was. I love. It looks like you're eating the screen. I love that. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna eat this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna be able to drive in a couple hours. Yes. <laughs> it's not that kind of bud. Mm-hmm. Tell me what it tastes like. You see them on salads and stuff. Yeah. It is a little bitter. <laughs> <laughs> if it were if it were a beer it would be an IPA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his face is turning oh, red. Oh my god. Can it's you breathe? Just a half an nasturtium flower, my god. Yeah, it was only half. This is the quietest I've ever heard him. Oh, we will have to keep. I'll bring some more to work, okay, Joey? Yeah, let's let's keep him on his desk. <laughs> we'll just pop one in his mouth mm-hmm. for every meeting. Wow, you might need a, a palate cleanser. No, you're, no, you're no. Right when Ingrid goes, what does it taste like? It went to oh god, <laughs> not anything. It tastes like 
It, it, Hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> I do not use chemicals in my garden, just so you know, everybody. Oh, that reminds me. We need to talk about what happened with the hemp. And we had a phone call come in yesterday. I'm not sure if we got an official answer back. Maybe you guys know, maybe not know. Someone was asking, do you guarantee your new hemp is pesticide free? Hmm. Ooh, and we sold. I don't need. I don't hmm. know if it needs to be pesticide well, this is, free. Okay, if this if looks. I've seen this. In it. I've seen this before. Who's clipping? Are you hitting the? No, hmm. I don't think so. Okay, here's a pansy. <laughs> <laughs> this brings. <laughs> who digs up? Who tears up pansies? <laughs> Yeah, you know how to find them. Um. Anyways, have you now? Have you ever eaten any of these before? Mm-hmm. Ugh, pansies should also. Sit oh, on oh, them. oh, good. <laughs> mm. Pansies are past their prime when it gets hot. By the way, so oh. it might be that. All right, go. You can try that. <laughs> Only for the audience, I am doing yeah, this. Yeah, I would really. never. All right. The whole thing. Yeah, it's the just a thing. flower. Man. Now those are sunflowers, right? Yeah. See, I love those. Okay. What is clipping? Who is clipping somewhere? Yeah, this is this is gonna be good to finish up with. Cat hair on that one. Yeah. A nut? What? There was a cat hair on that one. <laughs> See, that's you won't find that at my house. No, what? Just dog hair. Look at that, hair, that dog hair. That's what it is. I I still think it could be a, a hemp hair. Okay, and then uh, um, Ingrid did bring in these microgreens, which is another. Did you great... try? Did he try the rainbow chard? Oh, did he, he didn't try the rainbow chard. Yeah, let's torture you some more. Now, what was wrong with that flower? Oh, oh. Is that why we're doing this? Here. Oh, there it's it so is. So pretty. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> this never gets old for me. Yeah, uh, these turnips are, are pretty good about now. Okay, no, we, we can save this for next show. We got to get to the questions and comments for everyone. We're going to snack um, while we... Are, do we, I mean, th- yeah, this shows, the, this your, shows your for Swiss them, chard. not us. And no, then, I already uh, tried. This is Japanese... No, Tingleberry or whatever new. the hell it was. Now it's rainbow chard. And the we... deer love it, apparently. So I'm lucky I have any left. And then uh, Ingrid's microgreens. These are what? Sunflowers. Sunflowers. That tastes like a greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the The deer love it, which is why. Oh, so Kristen, we I took your advice. Now that we have our watering system kind of worked Ugh. out that mm-hmm. we got the sprinkler to try to keep the deer out oh, of yeah. Jody's yard. over there going to wet herself <laughs> laughing. Oh, my God. Okay, this is sunflowers, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Too long of a pause there. Yes, it's sunflowers. I micro-greens. love the microgreens. That is so good. Yeah. Matt approved. Yes. All right. Okay. You guys happy? Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So here's a question. Steve um, asks... Ground on my property remains damp on most places. Um, even the moss grows on the house roof and more. Should we avoid Ooh. putting a run on that ground? Hmm. No. More of a reason to put a run on that, especially a covered ground. Cr- Sorry, I'm trying to focus now. <laughs> covered run. Too much healthy Are you traumatized stuff, right? by a couple of flowers, Matt? It's, I'm it? telling you, it's like that <laughs> beer that people are like, oh, this is so good. No, there's no way that beer... That tastes like cat urine and yeah. mated with a Christmas tree. And Matt doesn't like IPA. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, hold on, hold on. Um, ground on my property remains damp in most places. So, it must be, I guarantee it's probably in Pacific Northwest. It has not stopped raining. We got the one crew out there. They are just fighting the rain like crazy. Even moss grows on the house and roof. Should we avoid putting the run on the ground? Okay, I see what you're saying. Putting the coop on the ground. Now, if you're referring to one of our chicken coops, all of our chicken coops come with pressure treated on the bottom. So they are designed to go on the ground. However, if you have that wet of an area, it may be a good idea to put in that pressure treated base. All right. Like four by six on edge, maybe do a double course, go up 12 inches. And the reason for that is one, to create a barrier from water flowing through the run area. If you can swell it and have it go around. Uh, But number two, if you are really worried about potentially it rotting which it shouldn't but it, I, I have seen crazy things happen that acts as like a sacrificial board if you will the base acts as a sacrificial board instead of the board potentially rotting out on your coop now knock on wood we've never had that happen but i have seen pressure treated completely rot out in a couple years it's nuts that's not even touching the ground too i've seen on people's decks so does i mean it's also would be where he places it and you want to make sure like you said maybe create swales or mm-hmm. you don't want have- water to sit Water sitting is bad. You want it to come and go. Ooh, Chris has a good idea for the segment. Peck it or pick it. 
Mm. Mm. That might be it. Mm -hmm. Love it or cluck it from Francine, our friend. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, Francine. I love the people that are here that are that are just are super fans, and I love when we have new people here. I just love that the show is growing. How are we doing? Okay, eighty five. Share this show. We got to break a hundred, or I'm not getting off the air. Oh, ever? (laughs) That would be Um, fun. I could do it. Oh my gosh. Um, Chuck says, I have one hen go broody late last year and only hatched one because it was in October. I was afraid to hatch more because of the weather in northwestern P- Pennsylvania. Mm. But it did great staying with the rest of the flock. So that was... Yeah, that is very nice. That was very nice to hear some customer feedback. Yeah, because, I mean, like I said, they all break the rules and everybody's situation is different. So mm-hmm. whenever we can hear... Um, I didn't screw you up, did I? I just, I love, I want people, no, I hope you guys, do, do you guys like this? I love, I want people to see, they've taken the time to watch the show and uh, love to have all these names and comments come up so everyone can see Another them. tip for Rudy's is make sure that they have, you have a secondary feeding and watering station. Mm-hmm. All right, we have four minutes and until the raffle. And you're going to need to use so if you, some sort of feed that everyone can eat, which would be like a unmedicated chick feed or flock raiser. Crumbles. If you have not left a comment, please do so now before one o'clock. One o'clock will be the cutoff. Uh, Jody over there is busy taking all kinds of names. I can't thank you guys enough for being here. Happy no, Friday. Happy. <laughs> uh, it's Memorial Day weekend. I uh, hope everyone has safe travels. If you're traveling, we, they are writing down everyone's names, making sure we get everyone. Then there's no duplicates. We're going to leave this as fair as possible. We're going to, for once, have a fun, free giveaway, and not one person can complain about it. Ingrid is doing really good. Come on. <laughs> you got this, Jody. Well, I just, I have a very good memory, and plus I know a lot of our fans, so I can, I have a... Mm, that's well, a good one point. Of my, one of my special skills is a very good memory, as my years as an actor. So I remember that, you know, when I've seen a name, I remember that I already wrote it down. Roast the beets in the oven. Yeah. Oh, that's why you didn't want to bring up the comments. Yeah. Who sits, oh, they're robots. Who sits out there like, oh, let's drop a bunch of porn links? Who does that? I don't know. It's this the same people. I don't know. Um, Nan asked, is it common for young chickens two months old to not eat tomatoes, lettuce, or bread? Chickens don't really shouldn't eat nightshades, plants. I don't think we really, really like tomatoes. But Well, I've noticed that the young ones are hesitant at first. And yeah. Mm. Yeah, to keep trying. Yeah. So, uh, ours used to love strawberries. Mm. Or strawberry tops. Yeah, really? The, the I mean, tops, it just depends yeah. on what... What they Mine have access to. love blueberries because they like to eat the ju- – they jump on my green cone and mm-hmm. eat the blueberries off the blueberry bush. You should start each show with the chicken dance song. Mm. Yeah, we, we've actually talked about that. They have to do the ch- – if anyone ever gets locked inside the run and cannot get out, they have to do the chicken dance live on the air and cluck like a chicken. That's the only way to get out. Those <laughs> videos are out there. They almost got me, and that's how we did that one TikTok. That everyone's like, oh, nice bit, buddy. Um, great TikTok video, though. Hope we're going to break 200000 with that one. I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, what is it? We live on the side of a mountaintop seven miles west of Pittsburgh, PA, in the woods. And with much night, dew, and rain, we just don't seem to get enough sunshine with overcast. Is that the same person I was asking yes, about the dew? It okay, is. okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it still doesn't mean you can't have chickens. It just means you're you're doing the right thing. You're aware of it. And, and at least it's going to be dry inside that chicken coop with the run, yep. the covered run. Great, great point. You definitely need a covered run. And if you really have that moist, that much moisture in the ground, um, put in a French drain. You know, remember, water's going to take the path of least resistance, and it just wants to go on downhill. Mike Trapp said, hopefully, um, Naked HD does not win the raffle. <laughs> Since they commented here, we didn't take down their names. Read what worry. you got on the screen, y'all. Um, I'm not sure what Beth means there. That's why I don't oh. read in the comments. <laughs> Hopefully, Naked HD does not win the raffle. I just said that. See? Oh, sorry. See, don't even listen to me. I don't see. even listen. Stop reading. See what that happens when you eat for greens? you. You don't, ha- like, you don't like to read. No, I don't. So then let me do my job. I just got, a, I finally got around watching the Santa Fe coop. Yeah, they want, people want updates on that. Is there any way that we could actually go? I'll, I'll go give you guys there. an update. You want an update? No. <laughs> you, want a, you want a real update? Okay. 11, 11.30 at night. I get a text from the owners, great people, um, who's also, also we've been contracting as one of our structural engineers dealing with the state of California. You would not believe what we had to do for a customer to get his coop approved in the state of California. Unbeknownst to me, boy, did I learn something about construction. We did everything by the book 
to an exceptional level, especially passing a structural engineer's inspection, who was just in, in awe. Would you believe if I was to tell you, do you know when it's driest in Santa Fe, New Mexico? December. When? No, take a guess. Summer? Summer. Mm. June. Mm. June is the driest month when the rest of the country, that's when it's the most humid. So here we built this coop and we didn't change anything due to figuring, you know, when we built that coop October, oh, here she is. Oh, it is one o'clock. All right. Is everyone in? Is everyone Wait, got their no, name? Finish that. So I right, am finish going that. to. Please trust me. Oh. I will get back to it. Yeah, we got everybody. All right. Awesome. Okay. Everybody. So start crinkling up the names. Make sure they get yeah. into the bucket. Our official drawer has just walked in through the door. And wait, because, wait, wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Our official drawer, you cannot argue with the drawing. And you're going to see why here in a wait, minute. Um, okay. Wait, wait, one more. Okay. So here's what happens. Apparently in October, November, when it's dry, when it's the most humid, you know, you leave that quarter inch gap mm -hmm. for the boards, which you're supposed to do anyways. Apparently it has gotten so dry recently there. The boards have shrunk that, I mean, think they, they, they would have to shrink three quarters of an inch to expose that it's coming out behind the battens. I want you to think about that. So I haven't seen the pictures. Supposedly that's what's happening. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. If anything, and I told myself, if anything, they should be expanding right now. I go online, find out June, and it's only June, and then boom, it bounces right back up. Huh. So I'm hoping what's going to happen is they're just going to go right back to normal, and we're going to be good. But I, that's just the truth be told. I mean, I just I, I don't ever want to hear anything negative, um, but this is just an interesting thing. So when we're building out in New Mexico, don't leave a gap. Treat it like we're building in the summertime, I guess. Hmm. So. Yeah. Do you want to do the drawing? And then yes. we'll answer more questions. Are we ready to do the... Yes. Okay. So we're going to do the drawing. And I have asked my princess, my eight-year-old, soon to be, soon to be nine. Um, no one can argue with an eight-year-old girl drawing a name. All right. Now, you can't look. Okay. You cannot look. These look so pretty. Hear that? Yep. All right, so we're going to have our first drawing. Now, how can we do this without looking? I want you to look straight in that camera. Should we blindfold you? No. No? Is, is anyone going to argue with this? Okay. i got to say something. If Please, Jody. I cannot read the name. I figured out exactly what I was doing halfway through it. So just ask us, and we will. Oh, yeah. Oh, We have it written oh, yeah. down again. All right, you ready? Why don't you close your eyes? Close your eyes. Oh, yeah, 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 I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, you're going to pull out one. You ready? Now, make sure it feels good to you that quick, huh? Just, okay? All right, open it up and, and tell us who it is. Who's the winner of the first chicken nugget? Brian. Brian P. Okay, Brian, Brian P., are you everyone. still watching? All right, you have Brian, to be watching. Yeah, you got to still be watching. Brian P., give us a wave, give us a high five. Go, yay, I wanted a chicken nugget. Uh, so, Brian P., um, all right. Are we ready for number two? Well, Should we yeah. move on or should we answer a question? Well, let's move on. We can Hold move on. on, but we have to make sure that Brian comments because that was part of the rules. And yes. Right. Well, well, let's give him a few minutes. Let's okay. go ahead and, and do the three names. And Brian P., if you are there, you got 60 seconds. No. <laughs> you got Yeah, that makes sense. That's why the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brian P., yeah, good job, buddy. You just won yourself a chicken nugget. Thank you so much, sir. All right, you ready to do another one? All right, close your eyes. Oh, you're going to do the turn and burn. All right, you feel it? You got to feel it. Does it feel good? You feel like a winner? All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, open it up. Who is the next winner? Tara Vanda. Good. Tara Vada. Tara Vada. If you are there, you got 60 seconds to Just let us know you are. Stop. Huh? <laughs> what happens? Is it true, everyone that has daughters out there, do they really change when they turn 13, 14 years old? 12. 12. You are now. You are live on the air. You promise me you're old. Dad. <laughs> um, Tara Vod, if you are still watching, your name has been drawn officially, and you have sixty seconds. Oh, yeah, Tara. Oh, I love the picture too. Um, all right, so there's winner number two. All right, we got a third winner coming up. All righty. I can't thank you guys enough for being here. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, I love giving away. I hope everyone is happy with this. It's just, what? What do you, do you think? Someone's gonna be upset. Of course, yeah. Because, but I think everyone will be happy for the people that won. Yes, yes, and and I want to keep doing this. I love this. I love doing this. Okay, and if you guys have any ideas, 
Oh, I love shaking it. You're, it's being annoying. Oh, gosh. <laughs> she, are you 12 already? Wow, uh, she gets to say all the things we want to say to you. She is a, she, <laughs> she is a do voice, aren't you, baby? I'll pay you later. Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right, close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right, here's the third one. I wish we had a drum roll. Now what we have to do. All right, you got it? All right, read it nice and loud. Sparky Prep. Oh. Hey, Sparky oh, Prep. That was, um, yeah. I was just, I was wondering if he would get one. Yeah, he, uh, all right, Sparky Prep, congratulations. Yep, there it is, Sparky Prep. All right, there you go, baby. If you want to go walk back around over by Jody. Um, okay. Sparky Prep, I'm with you. My daughter, he says, my daughter is now 20, I miss nine. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hear it. Um, yeah, I have a 20 year old daughter too um, so, so for those three people please mm -hmm. email Ingrid at carolinacoops.com and I will give your information to Jennifer and we'll get those sent off to you yes and I want to continue thanks everybody for playing yes thank you guys so much I hope you'd enjoy it um, and go ahead and request a color we don't know if we can accommodate but let's let's try right and that is all brought to you by Jennifer from thisbirdsabsurd.com um can't think enough for her taking the time to come on the show and again i just you it's a phenomenal product you know i bet she makes more money off of her chickens than mine <laughs> <laughs> i would think so yeah so, especially since i can't sell my egg susan i love that comment you guys know more about chickens than anyone hands down if i hear someone else say anything i always check it against matt and team mm. yeah so i love that she said matt and team because what i am trying to do for you guys is i just want to be able to have a one-stop shop everyone you know we know Kristen as our chicken expert but there's even times i don't agree with her but i always want to emphasize understand why that's all you got to do mm -hmm. always remember what did chickens do before coops were invented and you'll be in good shape so Laura has a good question. Would Matt explain how he uses his hen house as a brooder for chicks? She's in Oregon, and we're in the 50s and 70s now, and we're getting chicks next week, and I'm wondering if I can start them in the hen house. Okay. And then she knows enough to ask you this I question. Know. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, here we go. I just happened to mention that Chris and I don't always agree on everything, and boom, <laughs> there's the big one. Uh, so Laura, great question. Now, I love if you have the opportunity to have a hen house that can be buttoned up so you don't have the windows opened because you should be able to open them eventually to have lots of cross ventilation. Number two, this is this this actually should be number one. There is something about baby chicks. When they're outside, they are just so much more vulnerable. The prey just know there's easy picking, so you gotta really be careful. Make sure your coop is buttoned up tight, okay? Make sure you can close up all the windows. And Bring, you know, you were just asking me about the heat plate, and I can't remember what we used last time, but we love when you use a heat plate for the heat source for the baby chicks inside the hen house. This is the only time I'm ever going to say have a heat source inside your hen house. Um, so so you what's, on, what's on the bottom? What's on the bottom of what? Of the hen house when you're using it as a brooder. Well, okay. So... Just use the hemp. I mean, you can use pine right, yeah. shavings. You can use newspapers if you want. You can use something that's going to catch it just like you would a regular brooder inside. Nothing really is changing other than you're putting in the hen house. The advantage is you just let them grow up there. Yeah. And then you'll know. Use your mother instincts. You'll know when they're ready to head out. Let them head out on their own. They're going to start hopping up on those roost bars all on their own. Mm -hmm. And there's none of that transition period. That is convenient. There's no dust in the house. <laughs> But Miss Kristen will say there is a disadvantage. And it's only because if they're out in the hen house, maybe you're not going out and handling them as much. Mm -hmm. um, but you're you can, not observing them as much. I, I possibly, like to keep them possibly. in the house for uh, just the first week. Oh, well, at least. I observe. I had baby chicks and I observed them. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So it depends on yeah. the setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, how much time you have. Yeah. But also, as a couple tips, we love the nipple waterer for chicks. That's going to keep your chores down quite a bit and mm -hmm. also close off the nesting boxes with some cardboard. Yes. Make sure. Yeah. Chickens are creatures of habit. Don't mm -hmm. let them start learning any bad habits. So Mike Trapp asked for broody hens, eggs or chicks. I can only give one baby chick to cut down on the chicken man. <laughs> and well, I, I know how he feels yeah. because my husband's like, we have enough. We don't have room, but I'm going to opt for two. Mm, two sexed Lord, chicks you yes two okay. chicken police well the i can reason, hear them the reason why and I'll, ruffling and this is the reason why i wanted to get two instead of just one is because once grace decides she's done 
raising this chick, it's going to be by itself. And now oh. it's, it's like when you threw that one birdie yeah. into my hen house, she really had to struggle. So I, I figured if at least two, they got they got muddy. That's right. That's a very good point. Well, people are going to say it should be a minimum of three. I've had so many people tell really? me that. Really? Why? That that is the right way for them to get along in a nutshell. I, I you know for baby chicks. Or yes, eggs? I think. Or well, and whether you're going to raise, whether they're going to hatch them, or you're going to introduce young hens, they always say do a minimum of three for a proper pecking order, because then you have top, bottom, and middle. Exactly. Oh, and okay. you have one to spare. Well, if I could get a bantam to, <laughs> if you, if you have a bantam baby chick that aligns with that, we'll just throw actually that in there. I'll have some bantams hatching Monday, oh, and then it's probably going to be small enough. The bond <laughs> we can try and if you're using eggs don't forget that you have to have two or three times as many eggs as you want to end up with because not all the eggs will hatch and out of the ones that hatch only half of them are going to be females so you, oh. you really really need like three times as many eggs as you want chicks jennifer said yes to, they can request a color Thank you, Jennifer. Oh, there oh, you are, great. Jennifer. Awesome. Thank you, Jennifer. I, I was hoping you were still going to be around. And uh, did she answer? Because I, I did mean to ask her, can she take custom orders? Yes, Jennifer, if you're still listening and if you're still here, can you answer that for you us? You know, and I, I'm going to stew. I'm going to stew on that idea. We've always talked about eventually when we could just get caught up with things, this and that, start being proactive, offering a free something in with the coop. And I've always thought maybe a free shirt would be nice. Uh, for people that bought a coop and it's an mm -hmm. official coop owner shirt. I was um, thinking like a carabiner. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe, maybe we could do an official Carolina coop. You know, I, I meant to ask her too if there's an official name. I hate to say stuffed animals because that just does not do these birds justice. Um, these, these. They're house chickens. The house chickens. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we have the official back. Carolina coops house chicken. I, I, I don't know. Something to think about. Oh, we got a question. She said, yes, they do custom orders if she can source the right fabrics. Okay. So thank you, Jennifer. And I see Mike Trapp say, but if they inherit, he's talking about the baby chicks. If they inherit mom's place in the pecking order, do you really need more than one? And that goes back to Ingrid's comment that uh, even though the chick has a place in the pecking order, you it, it needs a buddy. Yeah. Because I've noticed that when the mother gets done mothering she has no she no acknowledgement to her baby chick it's as if it's a stranger but i've noticed that chicks that are raised together never forget their siblings right i mean it is it is really quite touching i do have to say though my buff is is very nice to her her daughter okay but i mean she's not protecting her but she, but I, there's probably I, I'm saying there's no mother yeah, child no. bond like no. you might see exactly in other animals. Absolutely, or I love that saying, Matt. Oh, what did I say? Yeah, Christopher Mama. I love that saying. Huh? I don't remember. Would you make it a smaller area closed in? For um, it doesn't hurt. You for know? the for mother? The, no, and for babies? the for for the for the brooder inside yeah. the hen house. You can. I probably wouldn't, because the more space, the better. I mean, it technically is a smaller area closed in, being a hen house. Correct. Yeah, and I'll have to see how this one goes, where um, the the last time she just, the mother just went right, I thought I could use the, the nest box as a brooder for a couple of days or something, and mm -hmm. she just, that first day, she was like, all right, I'm done, and she went down to the coop, and all three babies were down with her, so... Um, are you just going through? I am. Here, I am. I am. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I I switched back to this. I those stupid. I know. D don't give them any airspace. So Skip Michael, and move on. Michael <laughs> has a question. I see chickens tend to pick on each other in order of size. So if you have bantams, what keeps the bigger chickens on picking? Keeps the bigger chickens from picking on them constantly. That's not been my experience. That it's it's. The smallest chicken that gets picked on the most. Are you starting to hear an echo? No. Are oh you? Boy. What did you feed me? <laughs> oh, is it kicking in now? Oh, good. Wow. Just How about did my time. mug get a foot long? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Um, non, you're driving. <laughs> I think it depends. Um, you are awesome. 
I've learned so much today. Oh, you, you <laughs> not even done yet. <laughs> so Patty asks if every coupe in California is going to have the spec issues, or was it just oh, that yeah. particular what, one? What was, made, or, was it the size, or what? What's the no, deal there? it's California. Well, and is it's, it the whole state, or was it the area, or was it... Is this Joshua Tree? This is Joshua Tree. Okay. Maybe they're just... And it's coming. And, I, and I've said that for years. It, a time is going to come that the local government is going to keep overreaching into our lives. Okay, Whether you like it or not, that's uh, whatever. But they are making things way more difficult than they should be. And I always worry about that because I don't want people to be discouraged about getting a chicken coop and getting chickens because the local government just wants to get more money. They want to have more control over your coop design saying, oh, it's for safety. Oh, my God. It was ridiculous. We learned a lot. We're going to take that information and we're going to share that with all of our other customers should that time come because it is going to come without a doubt. You're going to see it. I mean, we already started seeing it. Ingrid, you saw it when the government's like, oh, no, that's accessory structure. They started calling it. Come on. You know, but here at Carolina Coops, we're going to learn from it. You know, the old saying, you can't fight City Hall. We're just going to learn from it and make it so that our customers, if they are worried about, oh, I probably shouldn't get a Coops. I don't want to deal with the local building inspector. Don't worry about that. We got you covered. So Christopher said um, what your comment was, if you follow what chickens did before chicken coops, you'll be fine. That's what he was saying. Oh, Yeah, that yes. is something you say. Yeah, I mean, because it just, it just makes sense. I always want people, when you're doing research on anything, just figure out why, and that'll answer your questions. And we tend, as humans, to overthink things oh, and yeah. think that the chickens are cold or they're hot or they're well they do get hot but we you know they need a sweater they the things that they don't need we screw everything up we really do um francine had a great idea she's like she wants a plaque that would says genuine genuine carolina coop built for like francine oh yeah so we actually can do that and we have done it. And Ing uh, Ingrid, uh, Evan <laughs> does such an amazing job. And I don't know if it's even on the website. We have CNC'd custom signs out of reclaimed barnwood, out of high density. Yeah, but those are extra signs. Just a plaque that goes on every coop, not a special Yeah, order. but with the customer name, that would be, I mean, it's doable. It's definitely doable. We have talked about years, how are we going to label all of our coops? You know, we even have the heat press stamp thing. Yeah. We're going to do a plaque. At the same time, I'm trying to do everything I can to not increase the price of these coops. But I tell you, it's just gotten insane. Uh, but we would love to be able to do something like that because I've had so many people tell me, oh, I didn't know that was your coop. And it's, you know. uh, yes. Yeah, so I, I think I said that to you when I mm -hmm. first Oh, yeah, it, it is a great idea. But we do do custom signs. I would like to do that more uh, for people because they may not realize that the, the, the technology we have inside our shops, that we can make some awesome signs. And we have a lot of reclaimed barn wood. We can, you know, if, if you're into that or, you know, out of plastic or high density. Yep. Um, so Laura says, Matt, because of you and what's going on in the world now, I've talked my husband into building a chicken coop and run. We're basing it on the American coop, and he's been using designer building software, and she's excited. That's awesome. Like I always say, if you're not going to buy one of my coops, learn from us and build one. Um, that way you, you, you don't make the mistakes that other people have. Uh, hopefully soon we're going to be actually replacing a coop. I feel so sorry for these folks that paid a local builder. You know, I, I they got to replace the whole thing. Uh, so... If you want it done right, follow what we say or give us a call. And I do love when people are like, oh, my gosh, Matt, you weren't kidding. I should have just had you guys do it. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. There's a lot of details in there. A lot of details. Yeah. A lot of details. A lot of, yeah. <laughs> Which means a lot of room for and mistakes. And a lot of hardware. I mean, just. It's I mean, insane. Yeah. There are how many hinges and gate latches yeah. and screws and da, da, da. Yes. Um, that's why what we're trying to do with, especially with the American coop, we want to make it so you have the best coop for the best price period. But if you want to build your own, especially if you want to do it because you want a project, then get out and do it. I love when people get out there, get their hands dirty, take a chance too. If you've never built something in your life, go for it. I mean, how people would say that they're still building when they put one of our coops together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just looking to see if we miss, if I missed some questions. Earlier okay. On awesome. All right. So next there. week, all right, here's what we got coming up. Next week's up in the air, right? Because next week, I don't have a calendar in front of me. I have to go out to California. I have to follow up on my obligations. We have an awesome donation to a jail out in uh, Ukiah. It's called Ukiah, California, but it's Mendocino County, where I'm going to be out in the yard with the inmates mm -hmm. putting a coop together from scratch. Well, from a full knockdown. It's going to be quite fascinating. They're doing a full-on documentary on it. I love what they're doing. 
I feel it's the right way to help people with rehabilitation. I get to be part of maybe helping them learn something they never thought they were going to learn. If I have the chance to go live out there, I definitely will. There is a lot of rules and regulations I have mm. to follow, which yeah. we can all understand. But I'm going to do everything I can to hopefully do a live show out there. If I can't, then we will postpone. Yes. Okay. You guys don't want to do one without me? No. <laughs> so. Um. I have a good question from Francine, yes, our Francine. friend. One of our chickens has been laying eggs under our deck. It started after one chick got broody. Last night, she slept under the deck on her eggs. Any recommendation on how to relocate mom and eggs? Yeah, just do it at night. And it helps to have a second person. Um, so one person can scoop up the hen because she might fight. Because she wants to protect those eggs. So, you know, have one person scoop up the hen and another person scoop up the eggs and move her as quickly as possible to a safe location. Hold on. That reminds me. Before I forget. Yes, Matt. We never did it last week. And I'm not going to put you on the spot and do it now. But you finally did a little bit of your homework. I did. And you dumped our new hemp into your daughter's coop. Yes. That you uh, built. Uh -huh. And unfortunately, it was last week. A tree came down on it. Right. So you had to do some repairs. But shortly before that, you dumped the hemp in there. What were your initial thoughts? Oh, my God. Where'd the snake come from? <laughs> <laughs> and somehow you did manage to get a picture of you holding this yes, huge black I snake. Um, and it I had a bunch of eggs in it. Yeah. I wanted to share that with everyone. But again, maybe. It wasn't in the hemp, though. Don't. It was. Well, it, no, it wasn't in the hemp. But it was. I dumped it. I dumped the hemp. Like right on top of it, and okay. I didn't see the snake until the hemp was falling out of the bag. Great All right, point, just, Ingrid. Just, I didn't yes, want you to make yes, think that yes. they would get a bag of hemp with a black snake in. And yes. and it got in there because we leave the door open for free free ranging. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not so easy. And then I was up. like, well, if I was a snake, that's where I would hunker down. Is right next to my food. Right. So it was not in the hemp. It was already in the hen house. You went to dump it in there, which yeah. must have meant you were doing it at night. No. Is it, it was in there during the daytime. Mm -hmm. Just meant she wasn't paying attention. <laughs> huh. uh, so what did you think about the hemp? But the hemp was awesome. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So we did hemp get a great. small supply last week. And I know I must have upset a bunch of people. I didn't oh, mean to. Gosh. We put it in stock and we sold a ton of hemp in five minutes. Jody, thank you so much. Somehow she pulled that off yesterday, getting that all boxed up and sent out. Uh, if you are listening. We all work as a team. Yes. Oh. Well, we couldn't have done it without you, but thank you. Um, if you did order some hemp. And you got you got the new bales. Please let us know how it's going because we want to make sure it is the best stuff. Apparently, out in the northwest or I guess western Canada, they've just been flooding like crazy. So we are behind, but it is coming in, and hopefully, it's, I tell you, I love what we've seen so far. That's for sure. All right, uh, Jody, why don't you come over here for the sign off? Do you want to? Oh, uh, we'll walk over there and uh -huh. Uh -huh. do what then? Yeah. Can you give me a little bit more information yeah. than what Matt does? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? I don't understand what's going on right now. We're bringing Jody in. Jody, you okay being in front of the camera saying hi to everyone? You don't need the headphones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. How are we doing? What do you think of today's show? This is Jody, everyone. Jody, say hi. hi. This is that uh, again, and I hope I hope you didn't mind me putting you on the spot a little bit. I just well, I, I didn't speak for. I want to take Ingram's mic from her so I'd be knocked on the floor. <laughs> um, I know I speak for everyone here. How much we just appreciate who you are. Can't thank you enough for being here as an employee. Just a ray of sunshine every day. Don't change who you are. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you all. Uh, so, yeah, this is the sign-off that we're supposed to do officially every week. So are we getting ready to end the show? Is there anything else that we got to do? Uh, nope, I think we're good. That is not it, oh. Kristen. Oh. oh, my gosh. It is not it. I'm oh, sorry. Is it that hard? <laughs> is it that hard? Oh. <laughs> sorry. Matt's going to write it down in a rare... I yeah, we're, we got to put this up on... Yeah, because someone gave us this idea. Shabby and... Paints. <laughs> yeah so yes all right are you um, ready to end the show folks? okay yeah because we got our outro music which now that she told you not to put the earbuds in you don't get to be able to hear all right guys thank you so much for being here we will see you if not next week in a couple weeks have a wonderful weekend have a wonderful holiday weekend love your chickens and each other <laughs> have a good one guys later